Hey guys, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live Certified Trainer, and today I want to show you how you can create a tempo track in Live. Now if you've worked with Live for a while, uh, building set list and arrangement view, then you know that we can change our tempo and our arrangement uh, based on where we are by using and automating our song tempo. Um, this is great because it allows us to flow between songs really easily, really well, and adjust our tempo automatically instead of having to trigger our next song. Uh, but I'm the first one to tell you this can be kind of a pain in the butt, um, having to get the line just right, line everything up, and do this every time you drag a new song into your set. Um, is a bit of a time waster. And so I want to show you a time-saving trick uh, that I've been using for a few years now that works really, really well, and that's to create a tempo track. So let me show you exactly what a tempo track does and how to work with it really quick. So I'm going to load in one that I have created from a template that I have, and I'm just going to drop this in. Now, uh, let me show you what it is, and then I will show you why and how it works. So I'm going to drag this clip out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on each of these clips and I'm going to just type in a tempo here. So we'll start with 120. I'm going to turn uh, change from slave to master here. I'm going to change this one to 80 BPM again from slave to master. And then this one eventually will be 65 BPM slave to master. I'm going to turn lives metronome on and then let's start from the beginning and listen. So you can see what's happening here is I've defined the tempo of these clips uh, using the segment BPM box. I've set these clips not to slave to live's master tempo, but for live's tempo to slave to this clip and in turn making this clip the master for our tempo. And depending on where it is in the arrangement and how long it is, it's going to change live's tempo to match that based on where it is. So let me show you how to create a tempo track and then we'll practically put it in use with a song. So the first thing we're gonna do is we just need two audio tracks, okay? On our first audio track, we wanna set audio from to no input, just like this. And our second audio track, we wanna do audio from and we're gonna select that first audio track. So basically what we're doing is we're just recording a dummy clip, a clip of silence. We don't want anything in there. So we're gonna set our second audio track to record and then we're gonna launch that clip and we're just gonna click it again to get an evenly cut uh, clip that's about a measure long. So that's perfect. Now you can see when I double click on this and it opens in clip view, that option isn't here. And that's because a clip is only can only slave to live's master tempo in session view. But as soon as I copy this clip and drop it into arrangement view, get rid of our back to arrangement button, now we have the ability to make this clip either slave to live's master tempo or become the master tempo for live. So what I can do now is I'm going to get rid of this previous uh, tempo track here, put this back into session view, and I'm just going to make a note to myself on this one that says enter tempo in segment BPM. Okay? And I want to save this live set as tempo track. I'm just going to put it right there on the desktop, do file, collect all, and save so that it brings that uh, recorded piece of audio, even though there's nothing there, it's silence, into that set. And now what I can do is I can open up a new live set, go into arrangement view, navigate to my desktop, and I have that tempo track on here somewhere. There we go. So as I just drag this in, there we go, and I just put this in any audio track, I can go and I can define the tempo that I want by typing 115 and change this from slave to master, and then just drag this click, uh, clip out as long as I want, and when I press play, you'll see it changes life's tempo to 115, uh, and as long as that clip is there, it's gonna change and automate that tempo. So this is how we put this into play with the song. I'm gonna go to Joy of the World, which is a song I used earlier. I don't need to save that. And so you wanna open your song up, and you wanna manage each song on a song-by-song -song basis, so individual files. So I'm gonna go into that song file, and I'm gonna drag in my tempo track. You can see I did that here. And within that tempo track, I set and turned master on, set my segment BPM to be 140. So now what I can do is open a new live set. And when I go to drag this in to build my custom Sunday set, it's gonna bring that tempo track with it. And for the very first song that I put in here, all I have to do is click master and unclick. One, and it's two, automatically set. One, two, three, four. 
automatically set live's tempo to be in there. So now you can imagine if I went into any other song, as long as it has a tempo track as well, all I have to do is load it into my live set and live's gonna automatically adjust and change uh, the master tempo based on whatever that tempo track is set to. So this is a great way to save time. Uh, it's a great way to build sets quickly and it's a great way to not have to do the same work over and over every single week. So go through the process, create that tempo track, save it, and then always reference it and bring that tempo track into individual song files. Then as you bring those song files into your set to build a set, uh, your tempo will always be there and will always be exactly what you need it to be.